Hey you guys, I'm here today with four exercises that are gonna help you not lose your knee hang during isolation. You're gonna need a few things for this workout. The first one is a mat or a yoga mat for on the ground. The second one is a small towel or a tea towel that you're comfortable putting underneath your feet. And then you will need a strap. If you do not have a strap, that's fine. You can absolutely also use a scarf and a door frame. Before we go into the list of exercises that we're going to do, I just want to explain what the strap or scarf and door frame was for for our workout. So you're gonna take your strap or your scarf, you're gonna create a loop, and then you're gonna put a knot in it. And you wanna have a nice solid loop that's about a foot and a half to two feet long. Then I'm going to open the door frame, put the knot behind it, and slide that loop underneath. Then when I close the door, you'll see I have this nice secure loop that I'm going to use for two of my exercises. Exercise number one is our single leg glute bridge. You're gonna start lying on the ground. You want your heels at the distance of your fingertips, so not further away, okay? You can keep your feet fairly close together for this one. Lying back, you're gonna lift one leg up and then pressing the leg that's on the ground, straighten out that hip and come back down again. We're gonna be doing 12 of these on each side. Three to go. And then we're gonna switch sides. We're just gonna check on the position of our heel, lift the opposite leg and pressing up. So we're trying to get a straight line between our shoulder and our knee. You should start to feel this in your glutes. Two more to go. And that's exercise one. Okay, exercise two. Now you're gonna need that towel. So we're gonna lie on our back in the same position as we started for our glute bridge, but we're gonna put the towel under one of our feet. Hands on the ground, heels start close. You're gonna push up into that bridge position with both legs. Now lifting one leg up, the leg on the towel, you're gonna push that heel away and pull it back in. If anyone finds this too difficult single leg, you're gonna do it with both. Four more. Keep those hips up. And switching sides. So for this one, I definitely keep the foot that's on the towel flexed. And these ones are challenging. <laughs> Three to go. And that is exercise number two. Okay, for exercise number three, we're gonna use the door and the loop that we set up earlier. I've got my mat and I folded it over double just so it's nicer on my knees. I'm gonna kneel facing away from the door and I'm going to hook that loop over my heels. I'm then gonna bring one foot up inside the loop to the outside 
and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one so that the strap is running across the backs of my heels, over the tops of my feet, and then on the insides of my feet, back to the door. From here, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and my hamstrings as tight as I can. I'm gonna start to lean forward. I'm gonna have my hands ready for when my hamstrings can't do this anymore. And I'm gonna catch myself, push myself back up using my hamstrings. So I'm pulling my glutes to my bum, pulling, pulling, light push and then try to use those hamstrings to come back up that's two you can hear my door working hard too we're going to do six total And that's six. Okay, you guys, for exercise number four, we're going to use the loop in the door one more time, but we do not need a mat on the ground. So this time, you are going to hook your feet in from the top and then tuck the toes outside. So both feet are in the loop, strap is behind the heels, tails come up between the feet. You are going to lie down and then pull your heels towards your glutes to get yourself closer to that door, okay? So I'm here, knees stay together, pull, that's one. Bring yourself back to starting, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, last one, and 12. If you would like to challenge yourself at this point, you can try doing single leg pull-ins with the door. If you're going to do that, you're going to take one foot, you're going to put it inside the loop, and you're going to crisscross those straps so there's a nice little X on the top of your foot, and I'll just demonstrate one or two in case you want to give it a go. These ones are great for balancing out both sides. So I do encourage you, if your body can handle it, to do the single-sided. I hope this has given you a little bit of a hamstring burn and a bit of excitement to get back on those bars whenever it's time. Thanks, you guys.